Several Vitalino users want to use a USB interface instead of the standard Bluetooth included in the kit, so let's see how to do just that. Whenever using a USB interface, make sure that you are not directly or indirectly connected to a mains power source to prevent shocking hazard. The MCU blog exposes the UART pins for easier connection of interfaces other than the Bluetooth. Depending on the Vitalino model, you may need to deactivate the Bluetooth interface. In this case, we're using a freestyle and soldered headers to the UART. We soldered headers to the remaining pins as well, but if you have a Vitalino board or plugged model, stick to the previous step and you'll be just fine. Depending on your Vitalino version, you may need to apply solder to the four pads next to the VCC line on the bottom of the board as shown in the picture. Also depending on your Vitalino version, you may need to connect between them any two pins labeled AGND and DGND. Once you complete these steps, your Vitalino should be ready for you to plug in an FTDI breakout board and interface it using USB. Depending on your intended purpose for the USB interface, you should check whether the reset pin must be connected or disconnected. We'll be using our FTDI for data transmission, and in our Vitalino version we actually needed to remove the reset pin for it to work correctly. Just as a final note, given that your Vitalino should now be powered by the USB interface, you should avoid having the battery connected at the same time.